This group of men now you see are not the conquerors of Everest, the highest point of Himalaya mountains. Have you ever thought of what they have been doing in silence for 50 years by working with great effort and traveling all over the country step by step? They are trying with a great skill to furnish us the basic information to be used in preparation of maps of any kind. In the preparation of a map, most of the work is done in the fields and the main part of it is based on geodesy and mathematics. The activities that you see now are about measuring a distance. This is called base measurements in mapping language. An average base length is 6 to 10 kilometers. It is necessary in practice to divide such a long distance into short sections of 24 meters. It is a hard work. Indeed, to measure these short sections with a high accuracy and precision by invar tapes which are calibrated frequently at different international laboratories. To give you a rough idea about the difficulty and effort to be made to obtain the required accuracy, it is enough to state that the errors must not be exceed a few millimeters in measuring the long bases in question. Imagine also that it is necessary to take into account factors such as the air temperature in order to obtain an accurate result. There is also a need for astronomical observations to be carried out in order to determine the location of several points in the area to be mapped. This field party does the work of a small observatory with the very accurate instruments and devices that they use. They determine the geographic coordinates of pre-established stations by following the movements of the stars. In making a map, it is also necessary to determine the altitudes above sea level very accurately. Well, you have rested enough. The elevations of particular points are measured very accurately and carefully going inland from the sea level in mapping this is called leveling. In order to keep the measured points safe from any bad weather conditions they are marked by concrete blocks under the ground. With the works of field parties of astronomy and leveling, triangulation nets are established. Here is a triangulation field party, a nice trip starting from a site of green beauty but one can't tell whether it is worthwhile to climb up the mountains after a while. Types of triangulation signals. In mapping, triangulation networks have to be extended. The terrain may not always be suitable. Therefore, sometimes it may be necessary to build up steel towers at a height of 30 meters in order to make observations. And sometimes one must create original ways of doing it such as this. Now, Let's make a trip in the air. Don't ever think that is for fun. The navigators now place their cameras in the airplane. Most probably they will fly at an altitude of 5,000 meters and take air photographs of the terrain. These kind of flights continue all summer. Maps will be made by the use of these photographs. Now let's take the negatives to the office and develop them. These films are developed and dried by the latest techniques in the special photographic laboratories. After taking them, 
on the diapositive classes suitable for compilation, they are marked on the sheets in the photo archives. These still lockers are full of thousands of diapositive classes and aerial photographs. Now let's take a pair of these to the compilation section. Here is the photogrammetic section which knows its business. And this is the section where the well experienced and efficiently skilled operators make maps at modern machines by the use of aerial photographs. Operators with great care place a pair of these glasses in the cameras of these instruments. Then they put the cameras where they belong on the machine and make various corrections and adjustments on the instrument until they get the position of the photograph at the time it was taken. This is called the orientation of the pairs of photographs. The specialty of this instrument is to show the picture of the terrain on the adjusted glasses in the three dimensions. It's a matter of knowledge, experience and skill to compile the required maps out of these pairs of photographs. The operators have to use their hands, legs and eyes simultaneously. Scanning the st stereoscopic models with the indicator over the details on the terrain, such as buildings, roads and streams, he commands to the pencil on the table by means of a gear system. By the use of this gear system, it is possible to make maps at any scale. One of the well-known professors in this field, who has seen our works, expressed his feelings by saying, I have been at almost all the mapping organizations. Turkish Geodetic Survey is one of the most outstanding organizations which work with precision and latest techniques. By this procedure, all the details on the photographs are transferred into the map. This system of mapping saves field work increases the efficiency and promotes cost consciousness in saving a great deal compared to classic plane table method. By this means it has been possible to compile 450 sheets a year. But the map is not completed yet. Topographs find out all the names from those who know the area very well. And finally the map is checked and completed in the field. Now let's come back to the cartographic section again. The reproduction materials of the completed maps are prepared to make them ready for printing by scribing with the special devices called scribers. Separate reproduction materials are prepared for various informations that must appear in separate colors on the maps, such as conventional signs, names, and etc. These names and signs, which are printed on cellophane, are carefully stick to the, their proper places. It is necessary to take the film copies of all the reproduction materials prepared at the cartographic section by photomechanical techniques. Here is one of the world's most developed cameras serving for this purpose. The sensitive film is put to its place in the camera and negative film copies on the drawings prepared at the cartographic section are obtained. All these activities take place in the dark room and the film is developed. Here is a negative of our reproduction material. Now the necessary corrections and retouching work are being made on the negative by the experts. Thereafter the negatives will be ready to be copied on the zinc plates. It is necessary to make the zinc plates suitable for printing by coating them with the chemicals sensitive to exposure as the photographic film. Therefore the zinc plates are attached to these whirlers and it is let to run until the sensitive chemical equally spreads over the plate. The films and zinc plates are tightly brought into contact and exposed in the vacuum printer in order to transfer the images appearing on the reproduction films onto the zinc plates. Here is the result of this process but it is as blank as it was before. To make the images on the zinc plate visible, 
which is necessary to treat it with sufficient and proper chemicals. Then it is washed off by ammonium and water. Now the zinc plate is ready for printing. Printing plant of Turkish Geodetic Survey now reached to an astonishing level in respect with the equipments used and the quality of maps produced. Blank sheets of papers should be run through the offset press five to ten times in order to make them stable and suitable for further printing. Now you are going to see the printing of final color on the maps on which other colors are already printed. Zinc plate is being fastened to its place on the press. Today, printing plant of Turkish Geodetic Survey, employing highly skilled and qualified personnel, is capable of printing about thousands of copies of different 450 sheets. Now it is clear that a map, which looks full of lines and signs only, is not so easy to be compiled as it seems to be. These hard works you have just observed, up to now, have been carried out by the skilled and self-devoted personnel of Turkish Geodetic Survey since 50 years with an utmost effort and lack of comfort all over the country, day and night, in remote places, on the tops of mountains and in places where difficulties and dangers ready to meet them. A map is one of the most important material for the defense of a country and it is equal to the arms from a military point of view. Maps are the only guide which make it possible to use all kind of arms and equipment in war and during the peacetime. Today maps are needed in every field of our living. They are largely used in cultural education of young generations. Again, maps are the most useful devices needed in the economic and industrial developments of the nations. Turkish Geodetic Survey are playing a great role in Turkey's national defense and economic developments of the country in all kinds of construction works, city planning, sea and air transportation, oil researches, irrigation works, and in the construction of all kinds of roads and railways since 1909, the date of establishment. <laughs>